Paul Winfrey joins us now via Zoom. He's director of economic policy at the Heritage Foundation. He'll also serve as an executive director of the foundation's new National Coronavirus Recovery Commission. Uh, What's the mission of the commission and uh, what questions are you going to be trying to answer? Thanks so much for having me this morning. And I also have to extend the thanks of my older son, Amos. Uh, Usually we are uh, doing social distancing math right now. Uh, so he gets to skip that lesson for today. Uh, but uh, I hope you pick it up later this afternoon. I don't, I don't want yeah, to get away well, with we'll the studies. S- we'll see what happens. Um, you know, look, uh, first of all, I want to say that good health policy is good economic policy. And we've got to prioritize getting folks back to work, but only when it's safe to do so. And that's the preponderance of uh, the advice that you'll receive from economic experts. And it's also the preponderance of the economics literature. So there was recently a study that was done by some MIT and Fed economists looking at the 1918 flu pandemic. And one of the things that they found is that in areas and cities in particular that instituted good public health policy, the economic recovery was much faster than in areas that didn't institute good public health policy like social distancing. Uh, Therefore, not only does good public uh, public health policy uh, help uh, push down mortality, but it also helps mitigate the long-term economic effects of the pandemic. Uh, That said, Uh, Americans and businesses all across the country are looking for some certainty. Uh, Americans are losing jobs every day. Uh, Businesses remain closed. Uh, Main Street and Walmart are looking uh, into ways to change their operations. Uh, You're speaking later today with Chamber of Commerce. I'm sure that this is forefront on their mind. Um, And, you know, there was a report last week um, by the Bureau of Labor Statistics suggesting that uh, four weeks ago, the unemployment rate was about 4.4%. If we adjust those numbers for the uh, unemployment insurance claims that have come in over the last two weeks, uh, more of those claims will be, uh, more data on those claims will be coming in uh, while I'm on uh, this program with you. The real unemployment rate's probably somewhere in the ballpark of 10 to 14%. Uh, If that's true, then the unemployment rate today is probably as high as it has been since the Great Depression. And experts think that it might go even higher. Uh, Janet Yellen, the former chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank, uh, said earlier this week that she expects that unemployment could uh, reach uh, uh, Great Depression levels uh, by the time that this is all said and done. In other words, the unemployment rate could get into the ballpark of uh, 20 or 20 to 25 percent. Um, Forecasters have also suggested that the economy will contract on a year-over-year basis by as much as uh, 6%. Uh, But what's not known right now is how we're going to experience a recovery once we suppress the pandemic. So in other words, are we going to experience a V-shaped recovery, uh, like your favorite uh, summer vacation spot on Memorial Day weekend? Or are we going to have a W-shaped recovery where we come out of it and then we uh, plummet back into a recession at some point later this fall? Or will we experience an L-shaped recovery? In other words, one in which we're in a prolonged recession and and ultimately recovery. Uh, Those are the big questions that remain right now that are obsessing policymakers, both in Congress and uh, in the White House and uh, state and local governments as well. And uh, those are the main questions that essentially this commission is going to consider. Uh, How are we going to get ourselves back on uh, this path to to recovery? Uh, Because really it's a societal problem, right? We need all uh, aspects of society to be engaged. We need federal policymakers, we need state and local policymakers, and then we also need the private sector and civil society. So the commission itself brings together experts and former government officials, public health officials, folks who are experts in disaster mitigation and response, um, folks from the education uh, world, and then also the faith community. And we're going to be meeting a bunch of times over the next couple months, and we're going to be issuing an interim report at the end of this month to provide some recommendations. Uh, and then we'll be issuing a final report probably uh, sometime in early June. Uh, the reality is, is that even though uh, the, the the timeline seems to be extremely short right now, um, given the responsiveness of governments at ev- every level to trying to suppress the pandemic. We're probably going to be dealing with the with the consequences and the after effects of this for some time. And so what this commission is going to be doing is thinking about some of those hard problems um, to help uh, as we move between the different phases of recovery from 